Hi everybody, welcome to, the, to a demo of the Enterprise Edition of Yugabyte DB. Okay, what you're looking at here is a screen that shows you Yugoware, the admin console for Yugabyte, and you download and install it in your account. Well, the first time you bring it up, you'll be asked to configure various cloud providers, and what you see is that you can simply plug in your credentials for a variety of different IaaS platforms, public clouds, private clouds, managed Kubernetes environments, and it's just gonna start, get it working. So um, in AWS, you have the, this, this particular install is configured to work with all of the regions, and similarly with all of the GCP regions as well. Now, you can also configure a number of backup providers. In this example, we have configured Amazon S3 as a backup provider. You can also uh, configure an NFS mount point as another backup target. Okay, let's take a quick look at how to create a universe, and then we're gonna jump right into looking at a couple of universes. All you do to create a universe is uh, give it a name. Uh, I'm calling it Hello World, and you have a provider. I'm gonna pick AWS. You can pick one or more regions. So if I wanted a cluster that sits in US West Oregon, I say that it spreads the data across different availability zones. You can then put, um, let's say Virginia, the data is now spread across US East and US West, and you can put yet another data center such as Ohio, and you'll be able to get East one, East two, and West two. So it's a truly geographically distributed deployment. And all you need is to simply hit create and the system is gonna spin up and create your cluster. Now, we're just gonna look at a couple of pre-created clusters. Okay, so let's take them in order. Uh, the first cluster is a cluster that sits across AWS and GCP. It's a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud deployment. And it is serving one deployment paradigm for user identity. So let's go into that cluster and take a look at what's going on. Okay. What you see here is a map of where your data is located. On the left here, the orange icons show you a multi-zone deployment of a three-way replicated three-node cluster where reads as well as writes are happening. Your data is synchronously replicated across these three nodes. Now, on the west coast to the right is a three-node cluster also deployed across three zones that is a read replica of whatever you found in the, east, in the west coast. Now the East Coast cluster is only performing reads because it is an async read replica. All writes done to the East Coast will automatically get redirected to the West, but any reads coming from the East can just read from, from, the, from the local data center itself. Okay, so in this system, we have Cassandra and Redis tables, um, and eventually you could have a Postgres table as well. Postgres is in beta for us. Uh, the nodes are managed by the system. Um, and let's take a look at the metrics for the application that is running on top of the system. It mimics a user identity where users try to log in and change their password with the idea of the data being really close to the user. Now, what you find here is this is a deployment where we're doing 20,000 reads. The reads are spread across the west and the east coast, so reads happening from both data centers while the writes, there's about 380 inserts or writes, the writes are only happening from the west coast. What you find in this deployment is it's a geographically distributed deployment paradigm where writes have low write latency, have low latency, and your reads have low latency as well. So we see 1.5 millisecond writes and 386 microsecond reads, all right? Now, let's go to your deployment paradigm number two, which gives you a slightly different way to deploy data. So in this deployment, we're going to spread the nodes across different regions and have writes be synchronous and globally consistent, okay? So in this system, what you find is there are two nodes um, deployed in US Central, two nodes deployed in US East, and one node deployed all the way in Belgium. Okay, so this is a three node cluster running in Google Cloud. Um, it's the replication factor of this cluster is five, and what this cluster can do is actually survive an entire region failure. If a node fails, it will still retain low write latency for all writes originating in continental US. Okay, so what are the tables available? Once again, this um, cluster is running two Cassandra workloads, a Cassandra key value workload, as well as a unique 
secondary index workload. The unique secondary index workload is a key value where there is a unique constraint on the value column along with a secondary index to look up by value. So you can look up by key and look up by value equally efficiently and it enforces that each of the values is unique just as we enforce each of the keys is unique. Now all of the nodes in this system are spun up and managed in a public cloud by Yugaware, the admin console itself. Um, so once again, let's go ahead and take a look at the metrics. This system is doing about a little over 6,000 reads and about 47 writes, right? These are very light two core machines just to show what the flexibility is in, in, in deploying this type of topology. What we find though is that the write latency is much higher because the, the quorum is spread globally. The data has to go to multiple data centers in order to get replicated synchronously. So it's an 85 millisecond write latency, but the reads, however, are happening from the nearest data center. So it's a 330 microsecond read. Um, the only thing that I wanted to point out to you is that this can very, very quickly be deployed by simply giving it a name um, to create this cluster, choosing your cloud provider, choosing a bunch of regions, and you just hit create and it goes ahead and spins up everything for you. So it's really, really simple. You can take it for a spin. And last but not the least, it's really simple to back up data from this cluster to uh, an object store like S3 and restore it in a completely different universe, even in a completely different cloud. Uh, that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you for joining us and definitely reach out in case you want to give it a spin. Thank you.